Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Our little tomato plants are doing great. So I wanted to take you today and show you what we need to do to address these tomato plants. We're at a point now where we need to start doing a little something with them. We need to start working with them, talking to them, showing them a little love, showing them a little care. So come along today on the farm vlog and we'll show you what we're gonna do after about seven days with our little plants. We're gonna thin them out so that we can ensure the success of the healthy plants and take out the ones that aren't gonna be so healthy. So come on, let's have some fun. Stony Ridge, from Stony Ridge, Stony Ridge Farm. So first things first guys, you're going to need a couple tools. Now you don't have to go crazy and get, there's a bug on my lens of my sunglasses. Do you see him? What kind of bug is that? Quite distracting. Back to the vlog. First thing you need to do, guys, is have some of the essential tools here. And basically, you can just go to the dollar store or whatever little store you want to go to, Walmart, whatever, Target, if you're too good to go to Walmart. And you can get these little scissors. And this is like a little cuticle scissor you can get in the, in the health and beauty section. Or you can go to the crafts or paper section where school supplies are and pick up a little pair of scissors like this. You just need a tiny pair of scissors. I prefer the smaller cuticle scissor. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna thin our little tomato plants, okay? So let me grab one of these little pucks. I call them pucks, they're peak pucks by Jiffy. Let me grab one out of here. Now what you'll have, inevitably, you plant two seeds, two, maybe three seeds, and sometimes all three seeds come up. So we need to address which plant is the healthiest looking. And to me, the healthiest looking plant is gonna be the straightest plant, this guy here. Seeing this one's growing a little bit crooked right here. So we wanna take him and snip him down low and get rid of them and we'll leave the healthy plant okay now some of these I dropped three seeds in accidentally two seeds some of them I dropped four seeds in and we'll take you down we'll show you how we do this all together and we've been making sure that they've got water and that they're doing really good you don't need to put any kind of nutrient in them at this point you don't need any kind of fertilizer but we'll walk you through we'll get you down here get you close and show you what we do with each one of these trays we have one tray that holds 72 plants one tray that holds 36 and one tray that holds 50 I believe so let's get a little close up now guys if this is your first time to the channel welcome to the channel please click that like button right now there's no reason not to BAM click that like button you're gonna learn something today and if you already know how to do this stuff you still might learn something so stick around we'll show you a few things so we've got two different types of tomatoes here we've got a sweetie tomato and that's this guy and I pretty much guarantee you all my tomatoes will not look like that and we also have a so easy patio choice tomato and these are all from fairy morse they're the little kiosks that you see when you first walk into like walmart or lowe's or we don't go to home depot because they deny me a uh, veteran discount so it's either walmart or lowe's or i don't know maybe target has it if you're too good to go to walmart basically we're going to go through our little plant tray here and we're going to take our scissors and i like to use these pinpoint scissors because i can do a lot better with them i can go in and snip them more precisely okay so the secret here is be careful not to bump and damage the tiny little cilia that are on these new seedlings and i'll show you this real quick you've got to be careful if you look real close you can see tiny tiny little cilia hopefully the focus is working good for you but we want to get rid of the one that looks the worst, okay? Now these two, if you look, they're competing for sunlight and that's why they're all leaning out. I want to leave the shortest one so I can have a nice girthy stalk right here. So I want to get rid of this guy right here. And being very careful, come on. There we go. Being very careful not to bump or damage the other little guy because plants are sensitive when they're young, just like babies. We don't have to pull out each individual pot. Basically, we'll go right through here and we'll just snip the ones that we don't want and we'll try and remove them. If you do not remove them, you run a risk of fungus inside your Jiffy planters. And here's what happens when you drop a seed. You see that little seed? It dropped. Look what a healthy little plant that would have been. It sucks. I gotta pull it off and get rid of it, okay? I could have probably put it into another seed pod, but the likelihood of it sprouting and growing and doing well is pretty darn low so we're going to go in and basically pick our way through these little plants 
and take out the ones that we don't want and try to pick them out. So what I like to do is I'll go through and snip, 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 and then I'll go back through and pick out the leavings, the leftover leavings, the leaves. If you don't pick out the old ones and they get too moist, they can cause a mildew or a mold problem and kill everything in your whole dish here. Now, as I'm snipping these guys out, we'll talk to you a little bit about what we've done with these plants so far. So as soon as they started sprouting, I took the covers off and I brought them outside where it was warm. And it basically, it only needs to be above about 50 degrees, but I brought them out here where it was nice and warm so that they could get acclimated to full sunlight, okay? If you leave them inside for a couple weeks and they sprout up to this high and you bring them outside, it's gonna bake them. It's gonna kill your little plants. And that's so disappointing, especially if you're doing this with your children. What a heartbreaker. So learn from me, learn from my mistakes. I've done it. Don't do that, okay? So we're gonna go in and basically just snip out the little guys that we don't wanna keep and leave one plant per peat pot. Now this amount of tomato plants is enough to feed your family, okay? This is a lot of tomato plants. We have three trays and I'll pull the other trays down. This is the 72 pack, which is the biggest pack. Most likely we'll have to transplant these if we don't get them in the ground quickly. We want them to get about this high and start having pretty tomato leaves and then we can put them in the ground. So we got a little bit of prep work to do in the garden. Stay tuned for a future vlog here. We'll be prepping the garden area, getting it ready to make our beautiful tomato plants flourish. Now, I am not planting these guys in my garden. I'm not gonna plant these little cherry tomato type tomatoes in my garden, they're gonna be my patio plants. I want some good patio plants so I can walk out and grab little cherry tomatoes and put them on my salads. It's gonna be awesome. Some of these guys are not doing well at all. Like, let me show you this little one. This one right here, what's the problem here? Rot, too much moisture. Too much moisture is the problem here. So I'm gonna to have to pull him out and I've gotta keep a close eye on my moisture. I don't want this thing to be sopping wet, but I do want them to be moist. So every day before I bring them out, I bring them in at night and I bring them out. I put a little bit of water in there, but you can't put too much. Some tomatoes like a lot more water than others. Obviously these tomatoes are doing better than these tomatoes. So the amount of water that these tomatoes need is less than these. Some tomatoes are more drought tolerant. So every day, since these guys sprouted, these little tomato plants sprouted, I've had them outside, enjoying that full sunlight. Uh, maybe the first day I set them underneath a, a spot where they might have a tiny bit of shade just to get them acclimated so they wouldn't get baked. If you put them outside with your little Jiffy greenhouse, they will bake, they will fry, and that'll be it. They'll be done. Once again, pound that like button, boom. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel and if you don't know what the channel is all about here, we bought a 200 acre plot of land in three different sections and we're turning our dream into a reality. We're living on a farm and we're growing and building and all sorts of stuff. So guys, follow the farm vlog if you're interested in this kind of stuff, I think you'll really have a good time. And you'll probably learn a little something along the way too. Looking pretty good. We'll have some stragglers, like I said. There are more seeds in here that probably haven't come up, and there are some that just aren't gonna do well. You can just look at them and tell, like this guy's all leaned over. He's probably not gonna do too well. We'll leave him alone. He'll be okay, but he's probably not gonna do too well. What I'm looking for as I'm snipping is leggy plants. So I'm saying leggy, meaning they're growing up and they're twisting and falling over and stuff like that. And we don't want leggy plants. And, and that comes from a lack of proper light uh, in certain cases, or it can come from moisture content or a few other things. But if you have your plants sitting in a window, be sure you rotate them or you can cause them to be leggy. What we want is a plant that's this tall that has a nice thick stalk. Okay, that's what our goal is. Now we'll slide this guy out of the way and we'll pull this guy. And this is the 50 pack, okay? And you can see some of these have sprouted two and three, all right? And then some have sprouted on the sides where I accidentally dropped seeds. So we'll get rid of those so they don't take any nutrients away from the good guys. You know, I think it really works if you talk about your tomato plants. If you talk to them, I think it works. I honestly do. 
when I moved them outside this morning, I picked them up and said, hey guys, time to go outside. Let's go have some fun together. Really, really makes you feel good to grow something. Makes me feel good to grow something. Take that tiny seed and put it in the ground and watch it turn into food for my family and wonderful spaghetti sauce. What kind of tomatoes are these? That's what you're asking right now. These are the beefsteak tomato, okay? Here's a picture. Always label your little containers here, okay? What we're doing here is eliminating competition. We're eliminating the competition for nutrients and we're eliminating the competition for light. So you'll see they're starting to spread out like this because they're all searching out that light and, and, and one wants to have the most light. So we want to eliminate that competition. So only one tomato plant gets the light it deserves. And some of these guys that are leaned over like this now will be able to go, hey light, I'm happy. I can't wait to be called a liberal after this video. Anytime I do anything that shows that I actually care about something, I get called a liberal. It's pretty cool. I live on a farm in the country. You can call me whatever you want to call me. I know who I am. And I care about my little plants. Okay. Now on to the last one, and this is my favorite one. This is the Jiffy 50 pack, and these are designed for tomatoes, so you can plant tomatoes in them and you'll never have to transplant them over to a bigger pot. These guys can get this tall, they can get, you know, 10, 12, 14 inches tall, and then you can put them in the ground. So they're kind of neat. We won't have to transplant these at all, but we still will go through and snip so we don't have any competition, okay? And these are the So Easy Roma tomatoes okay so you may see like this little fellow right here i'll show you see that little red on there that's the so easy seed pod and basically it's just a mixture of a few different organic things clay and other things not not poisons and not insecticides or anything like that but just something to help you handle the seed a little easier and something to uh, get the seed a little uh, a better start I can tell a huge difference in the so easy versus not the so easy. When we get done with this, I'll show you that and then we'll end the video. When I first saw the so easy seeds, I wasn't really a, a believer, but now I am. Not only are they easier to handle, but the success rate seems to be higher with the so easy. Um, it just gives your plant a, a little kickstart, which is pretty awesome. Now we've got two right here that haven't come up yet. That's okay. I mean, how many Roma tomato plants do we need? This is a lot. This is going to feed our family. These are the So Easy, and I'm gonna slide these out of the way. Very good success with the So Easy. These are also, let's see, these were not So Easy, and they did pretty good. So what we have here is half and half. Draw an imaginary line here, and you can see the difference in the growth. These are the So Easies, and these were not. Look at how much better the Jiffy or Fairy Morse So Easies did than the regular. So, I don't know, a little testimony to that. They look very good. So we're all done thinning out our tomato plants. Folks, I wanna thank you a whole lot for coming to the farm vlog today. If you don't have a little pair of scissors like this for your gardening, I'll post a link down below where you can get a couple little cool pairs of scissors for doing this kind of stuff. It only takes a few minutes and we'll reap the benefits later on in the summer. So look for some videos here, some vlogs in the garden pretty soon. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff going on here on the farm. I'm already backed up. I've got the next five videos already filmed, ready for editing, but I've been so busy out here in this beautiful weather, I just haven't had time to post them. So guys, click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I hope this helped you a little bit. I hope you had some fun watching anyway. And if you need anything, if you have any comments, post a comment down there below. If you have any input, let us know. All right, so thanks a lot. We'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farmer. All right. We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge Bring your wife and bring your kids We're living life pure and sweet That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge
Oh, before we go, I wanted to show you, these are our pots that we're gonna put our back porch tomatoes on. I've got two of these metal bins, and I bought these over at Walmart because I'm not too good. They had them in like the seasonal section, and they were on sale but uh, I, I like to have a nice little tin container there and I poked a few holes in the bottom of them so that they'll drain well and we'll have some awesome patio tomatoes. Maybe they'll grow up and like fall over the edge of the deck. That'd be pretty awesome. See you next time, guys.